Marcus Marius! Inquiry now! What penalty or what reprimand do we think goes for running over a child? What penalty goes for running over a child while driving on the wrong side of the road? That answer, apparently, if you're a police officer in Albany, is nothing. And this is my boy we're talking about. And someone needs to be made accountable. All people. Not just somebody. There's a, there's a chain of events here that's taken place. And there needs to be accountability from the start to the finish. We need to find out what actually happened. How did he get run over? By a police vehicle driving on the wrong side of the road in Albany. We need to fi find out why many follow-up actions did not happen like they should have by the police. Why was the four-wheel drive not impounded? Why was the forensic uh, done on the four-wheel drive? Is the triple C impartial enough? I think not. We need a public inquiry to give answers to all these questions. Justice for Rex! We need to come together now and you need to say we value life, all life, and that it is not okay for those in a position of authority such as the WA police in Albany to try to kill a child. We're sick and tired of it. We want equality and we want justice. We have to be strong enough and get up and talk and unite and come together and show the police publicly that we're not going to lay down and accept this sort of thing all the time. Justice for Rex! Public inquiry now! Justice for Rex! Public inquiry now! We're a group of concerned citizens. Hello, we're a group of concerned citizens. Some of us from Perth, some of us from Albany. We were wondering if the senior officer on station or any officers currently on station would be willing to address our concerns in relation to the Rex Spilotti case. No, no, we've been down to the higher authorities enough. Well, I'm not asking you to make a comment, but at least acknowledge that well, we're here. We'll acknowledge your existence and we... <laughs> our existence. Concerns, but it's not being... It's, it's nothing to do with me. Well, it is actually, because you're a serving officer in the Albany Police and a colleague or former colleague... Uh, is uh, responsible for what we think, at least prima facie, is a case of attempted murder. So it ought to concern you as uh, someone as an officer so uh, at a station. Well, I'm just saying, I'm just disputing your claim that it's got nothing to do with you. It's got plenty to do with you, and you should be actually. By that, by that, I mean it's not my place to be making comment. Okay, well, even though you can't make comment, can we file a statement that we are here concerned that? Uh, who do we actually go to to file a statement of complaint? that nothing has been done to address a particular incident. I know you're talking about your own officers, but because there is no demarcated police inspectorate and police officers investigate police officers, who would be the appropriate authority for us then to no. talk to? Or whatever, right? and uh, surely we can put yeah, a statement... I'm not going to make any comment. I, uh, what I know is the complaints have all been gone through the, the channel, so I'm not going to make any comment. ...to be accountability within the police force. There needs to be a public inquiry into this whole disgusting affair, and there needs to be justice. We are living in a very, very dangerous society when police can drive around running people on the road. With everything happening on the night, it was all questionable. And there needs to be accountability. There needs to be transparency in the investigation. And the public inquiry, I hope, is going to get that and justice for my son.